How's it going, Halo Zone? Silly Solomon here, bringing you a commentary over the first mission on Halo 2. I decided to go back and play it on Legendary. I haven't finished it yet. I'm like halfway done, roughly. But, I don't know. I just wanted to go back and play some Halo 2. I was playing Halo 2 at my buddy Aiden's house. We were playing some split screen and stuff. And I absolutely loved this game. I played this when I was like 10 years old, I believe. I played it at my neighbor's house all the time. It was so much good times. It was just... An absolutely great game in my opinion. Some people even think it's like the greatest multiplayer experience ever. Which, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to go that far, but it's a really, really, really good game. One of the best Halos in my opinion. But people still complained about it. There were people complaining about the fly with sword glitch, the dummy glitch, there was like the reload weapon glitches. There were people complaining about dual wielding even. There was the host advantage complaints. There were... Uh, people complained about the weapon reload glitching. Some people even said that their plasma pistol was overpowered. Like, there were so many complaints about this game. I remember specifically tons and tons of complaints because I went on the internet to look about this game to look like, you know, maybe my 10-year-old self. Like, oh, I, I'm solo and I want to look up some hacks and stuff and some glitches. I want to I wanna be cool. But I remember seeing so, so, so much hate for it online. And it almost feels like it wasn't until post Halo 2 slash I guess like it seems like it was before Halo 2 came out and when Halo 2 was out in the beginning and in the end after the game was big and everything that everybody appreciated it you know it was really big on MLG whatever whatever but there was still a lot of hate for this game and I'm the kind of guy that's been through a lot of Halo cycles and I've seen similar things happen to Halo 2 I've seen so many people complain about so many different aspects of the game and I really want to say to you guys that if you love a game, play it because you love it. And I, this is, I'm really ripping off BBK Dragoon here because I was watching one of his commentaries from a while back. And I heard him say something like, don't let somebody else steal, steal your love for our game. And that's just so true. That's just so spot on. Do not let somebody listing a list of complaints like, oh, there's Sprint in Halo 4. Oh, there's uh, Flinching in Halo 4. Um... You know, there's so many, like, people complain about descoping in Halo 2. There is descoping in this game, and I feel like it's it's almost like people that list off different, many different, because there's so many minor problems with every little game. Like, every game there is, there are going to be minor problems. There are minor problems with Halo 2, Halo 3. I remember people on Halo 3, like, whenever Halo 3 first came out, there were people from Halo 2, like, Halo 2 fans, big Halo 2 fans, that said Halo 3 was garbage. I remember my neighbor, my neighbor didn't even want to play Halo 3. He thought it was crap, and it wasn't balanced, and it was too, too much change at one time, and everything that is happening right now, I've seen before, and I feel like I hate it when I see somebody who loves Halo 4 and is affected by, you know, some pro players who say, you know what, this game is trash because of this, this, and this reasons. And then they stop enjoying the game, you know, don't let anybody steal your love for a game. And the other thing is, like, I feel like because Halo 4 doesn't have the numbers of the previous Halos, that automatically means it's a failure. Which I think is kind of ridiculous, considering the only competition Halo 2 had was Battlefront 2, for which is a Star Wars game, and the only competition Halo 3 had came after it, and that was like COD 4. So, uh, there, there wasn't nearly as much competition in the game market, so you can't really, or in my opinion, you can't, uh, you can't say Halo 4 is crap just because of the sales and everything. And I don't know, I mean, Halo 4 can also be, it can be altered for competitive play, like, you can change stuff, you can... If you want to, you can make it like uh, Slayer Pro settings. You can you know, make everybody have the same starting weapon, take off random ordnance and all this stuff. And there's just so much stuff that you can do with the game. And there's so many... I just... As a Halo fan, I am a Halo fan. I love Halo. And I can't stand to see a community being torn apart by people who are overly negative about the game. And I can be a negative Nancy sometimes. Like, if, if I think something's crap and I want to change, I can say that. You know, when BR was five shot, I said, make it four shot. It needs to be four shot. And 343 did that. I'm not saying they did that because I told them to, but they did it. And uh, I just, I think it's it's almost like we're going past the point of criticism here. We're going to the point of really just blaming Blaming the lack of the size of our community, blaming our small community on the game rather than recognizing that there's other competition in the market. And I feel like the other thing is people don't understand, like, because Halo's not an MLG anymore, like, that doesn't necessarily mean the game isn't competitive. Like, there are, there's Call of Duty at MLG, you know, people left Halo to play Call of Duty. What does that tell you? What's, what's important really isn't how good the game is, what's important is how big the game is. And I feel like that people kind of don't grasp that, so they automatically assume it's a failure, which kind of... 
It just ticks me off, and really all I ask from you guys is to play the game you love and to not let a list of problems with Halo 4 take away the fun that you have. And that's really that's really the only thing I have to say about... Uh, that's, that's all I have to say today, and I know it's kind of a ranty commentary, and I know some people are going to hate me for it, but just know I love classic Halo. I love new Halo. I'm a big fan, and I love you all. Thank you guys for listening in, and uh, have a great day.